So I've just welded up the hole. It's going to be a little out of round anyway, so we have to touch it all up when we get the new hub for the pulley. Because this hub here is getting a, a bush put in it, but obviously for this one. That's not all we're working on. That's about all that's left to do on it. I think. Oh, that and the wheels for the string in the bottom of the chamber. So I've just been through this. Oh, that's got a couple of broken grease nipples. I've brutally, brutally tightened these up because from the driven end here they are, were all loose. These bearings and they're all spinning. That bearings, grease nipples half burnt through but it works so <sighs> for the amount of work it's going to get I don't think it's going to matter and the fact that these bearings that are not turning in the housing have got that much wear in them and you only get grease up one side so I think the best thing to do would be put a grease needle in there and feed them with grease that way so I've got the other caster wheel off because I've got to get a new tube for it, which I got ordered. Um, I either had to buy a patch repair kit, glue, or a tube. And I'm like, well, the glue I had went off because it hasn't been used in so long, so I just bought another tube with a right angle teat instead of a straight one um, and a steel teat at that. So the idea. What killed the teat on the other one is they had it pulled through. This one's going to wear out too. It's got a crack in it. You can see around the back corner. They had it turned on the angle. It was on the dick. And then all the grease over summer had leaked down and got in there and affected the rubber. So I've got a right angled steel one, which will come out in the angle. And I'm going to backfill the hole with some silicon once I've got it pumped up. And that'll keep any crap out of the rim. Um, making a YouTube video, or attempting to. Yeah, be careful you don't touch things that are greasy, will you, Evie? Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is the bag shore. <laughs> Everything's had grease, so I've just got to lube some chains up. And yeah, I've got the clutch working. The dog's clicking the wheels, so you can't actually disengage these ones. Which I think is a bit weird, because all the New Holland gear you can, but I guess they're driving in the same direction. It's only when you're turning corners that one of them free wheels, so, yeah. It's as good as it's going to get for a while, I'm afraid. So, yes, Series 2, I think, um, combination of these bearings are probably what, what killed the model. And... I don't know. I think these caster wheels are alright if you've got no prickles. They are a highway tyre. They're a high speed highway tyre. But I think the bearings may be a bit of a letdown. I don't know. I think if you keep on top of it with grease, I think everything will be alright. I haven't greased those wheels yet, but I've done everything else for the reason that. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to pull them all apart, so I didn't want to grease them all up and get grease everywhere. So yeah, when we bought the property, there was actually a set of wheels for one of these with rusty rims. Um, I've actually used one of the tyres on the wheelbarrow because the tyre was Chinese and, well... It's Chinesium, so it's, it fucked out in in um, two years. So yeah, I do have a couple of fingers missing, but eh, it's no big deal. It's hard to turn since I've done those bearings. I need to run in. They might be cocked around a bit of an angle. This here. If you pull this rod here, which is tied in, because obviously it kept moving, because it's supposed to be a spring in here that's not working, 
it changes the pitch as they come around so we may even experiment with that because well because we can they were all right last year see there's a missing finger that's got a completely different bracket on there one like that i don't think it's going to be an issue whether i take one off of the end somewhere and move it down let's have a look your hat's not tight or here i'll put it back on your head but i'm not tightening it up right now it's pretty tight to me one missing on the end nothing down there let's look at this back one that one's complete this one here is complete so there's just one there I would be half tempted to offer take one off of either end and being that there's one already missing off of the front there wouldn't like to make it all off of the one end so I might just pinch one from here and move it down but yeah we'll see I might just go and use it first and see if it misses any I can do that, do that on the day if I uh, decide that it's not doing a good enough job so yeah I spent 15 bucks on a tube for this and that's it a little bit of time just tightening that up so yeah and Oh, I went to wiggle these bolts and then they broke and then I thought oh, I'll try and weld them out and I thought you know what Let's just spot weld them To the cover and if they ever need if it ever needs to come apart I'll just drill it out then Because you can't get to most things This half of the cover turns so you can get to that grease nipple to grease it This end however does not turn and I think I've said previously That grease nipple was a pain to get to Oh, I can't get to it like that. Anyway, that's the only one that hasn't been greased. Alright, how for now?